It's February 2017 and we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of Vulgar Display of Power. Uh, I would just like to say, man, it was at a, a beautiful time in our career. It was at a time when Pantera was so hungry we would do anything to take over the world with our music, our shows, and uh, it was one for all and all for one, man. It was a beautiful time. Uh, we had a great time making that record. We worked with the, the, one of the best record producers I've ever worked with, Terry Date. Uh, we had so much fun, and right towards the end of the record, we were about two weeks away from completing it. We got a call from our a and &R guy, Mark Ross, and said, hey, man, uh, they just had this big coup in Russia, man, and we would love to have you guys come over and play with Metallica and ACDC. And we're like, wow, what an opportunity, man. We had no idea uh, how big it was going to be. We hadn't played live because we'd been in the studio. And we packed up all our gear, we flew to Russia, and we played to a million people. And it's documented, it's called uh, For Those About to Rock, and it was the first time to ever play with Metallica or ACDC. And the fans tr had no idea who Pantera was, but they treated us like Led Zeppelin. It was just a, an amazing experience, and we got right back into the studio and finished the record. And uh, it was a very, very, very focused record. It was a very, very heavy record. And uh, the highest it ever got on Billboard was number 42. People find that hard to believe. 42, our next record, Far Beyond Driven, is number one. But that record only got to number 42, but it did sell platinum in many, many countries around the world. And it was just a great time. So thanks for helping us celebrate the 25th anniversary of Vulgar Display of Power. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>